Okay, what's up, Angie? What's up? Alright, so you're getting tattooed. I am. I'm back with another vlog. Getting what I usually get tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> he just runs away. Yeah. Okay, let me, see, let me see the one on your neck. Okay, it's my favorite song lyric from Coldplay. It's from the song Yellow. And it's one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my life. And just those lyrics have always reminded me to um, know that that the universe is made for you and it's, mm -hmm. you know, you're worthy to people. So the fact that the stars shine bright for us is just something beautiful. And there's like a million stars in the galaxy, so if they shine that many times for somebody, that means we have something that we're doing right on this earth. Right. Did it hurt? When it got to my neck, it did. Right. Yeah, when it got to my neck, it did. Yeah? It's like right there. Okay, so what's the, the one on your wrist? It is an olive branch, and it represents... Um, in the Bible, they actually say it's a peace offering thing. Mm -hmm. But to me, like, you know, I am a very peaceful person. And I also love to make peaceful situations. I love to bring positivity to anything. And this year, I actually found a lot of um, peace in my life from things that I've um, dealt with. And for me to, to really take care of my mental health and really work on myself, I feel, I feel like I'm at a place in my life where I truly feel peace. No matter mm. what bad or good situation comes. No, I dig that. It's actually yes. pretty dope. Thank you. Yeah, I'm ready for this one. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. Yeah, and you guys, she's not even done. She wants to get a tattoo right here. <laughs> she's trying to get one on her leg. Everywhere, basically, yeah. on me. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you have to record all of them next time. Yeah, I will. I definitely will. I'm going to start t doing tattoo vlogs and then. Mm -hmm. and towards the end of the year, um, I'll do a um, tattoo tour of everything I've mm -hmm. had so far. So those are the that's one of the most important ones that are coming this way. Now, nah, well, since we're here, like, what uh, where all the tattoos mean? What about the uh, this one right here? Which one? That one right there. The the anatomical heart with the octopus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's that mean? Uh, well, it's, it wasn't anything at first. It was a Friday the Thirteenth tattoo mm -hmm. that I got in college and. I don't know, I just thought the anatomical heart was cool. And then I was like, you know what, I'll put it on my arm so that way I can say I, I wear my heart on my sleeve, which I do. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And then the tentacles I actually got only like four weeks ago. And um, I just, it just needed something there. So I saw mm -hmm. something on Pinterest where there was like octopus tentacles coming out of the heart. And I was like, I'm going to get that. Yeah. And it's a really cool thing. So. Yeah. I like octopuses too. They're actually one of my favorite sea animals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They taste good. Yeah. <laughs> <Very> <laughs> Pretty much. So it's calamari. Ah. So okay, what about the sunflowers? Oh, that's actually an aster flower. It's an aster, okay. Yeah, it's actually a fall flower. Okay. And um, I, I just wanted like a, a cool different flower. Plus, like I was born in fall, so most of my flowers are fallish okay. in mm -hmm. some sort of way. Yeah. So it just fits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So I'm like, at this point, motorcycle, black leather jacket, she's strolling into your town. You know, look, but you can't touch. Oh like, my God. It's one of those. Yep, that's me now. <laughs> just, a, just a regular chick wanting to be a badass. Nah, that's already a badass level. I'm already a badass. Level. I already told you, if I seen you, I would not jump you. You'd oh. be the one I would skip over. I'd oh. be like, not that one. It's like once you see me, it's like I may look intimidating, but don't worry, I'm a nice person. Nah, to super on. nice. Like the sweetest. Thank you. Not yeah. 100%. You're a real one. You always come with me to get my tattoo. I, like I have to. I've, I've been there. Like yeah. this is it. Recorded by Riley. Yeah. <laughs> put, that, put that in the title. Like yes. recorded by Riley. <laughs> go follow her on, yeah. Inst on Instagram and oh. YouTube. Oh, she gave me the shout out. Go ahead. Yeah, go shout ahead. Shout out to Riley. <laughs> Best co worker ever. Nah, facts. Facts. Nah, 100%. Yeah. Okay, tell me about the other ones. Which one? Tell me about the jellyfish. The jellyfish? Uh, nothing really. I just like jellyfish. Um, but also my family calls me jelly. Yeah. So I just thought it was like a funny inside joke. This is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, what else? There's a yeah, song yeah, lyric. Yeah, fans know. There's a song lyric right there. Oh, I see it. Right okay, there. Cool. And it says, 
Whatever Tomorrow Brings, I'll Be There. That's a song by Incubus called Drive. Mm -hmm. And I actually, that was actually perfect because I was listening to it nonstop during the pandemic. And you kind of have to take that song into um, a reasonable, um, reasonable thought because you know you never know what tomorrow brings you, but you have to just keep moving forward. You can't worry about tomorrow. You can't let mm -hmm. tomorrow freak you out because you don't know what it holds. So mm -hmm. wherever you're meant to be the next day or in the future, you just gotta trust, trust God and trust yourself that you're gonna be okay. Mm. Yeah, and I just wanted to add like a dandelion with birds. Like, I've always liked that kind of design. Man, yeah. always. <laughs> I'm gonna be out here like that. I'm gonna squeeze. In Venice time. Beach. You yeah, never go know. ahead. Yes. Yeah, no, 100. percent Like I could have just been that person. Could have just been a wildin. But I toned it down today. I was like, ah, let me. I saw you. I saw yeah, you. I was like, almost happened. Yeah, she was like yeah. this. Like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, no, I'll, I'll be, I'll be good exactly. today. I won't act up like this early in, like maybe tonight. Like, who, who did all the other tattoos? Um, so I go to Newport Tattoo in Newport Beach, oh. and I get done by two girls. One's name is Sylvia. She's from Hungary, actually, and then another mm -hmm. girl named Hannah, who's oh, like no, no. not even actually she's not an apprentice anymore, but she does some pretty good yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. So. That's where you guys are from out there. I'm from Chino. Chino? And right. Yeah, I'm Riverside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm from Fullerton. Oh, are you? Oh, really? nice. You're doing this drive too. You're yeah. way. Yeah. Golly, you're out here. You don't want to work in Fullerton? I used to. I used to work in downtown Fullerton. Oh, which mm -hmm. shop? Uh, All Hollows. Oh, nice. I always wanted to go there. Yeah, the, the Halloween looking one. Yeah. 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 So what makes oh, you come out here? I don't know. It's a different vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a whole different setup. Is it came better out here? Out here to work for the summer. You know, just yeah. Like, do you dig it more out here? Is it the people? That's yeah, dope. It's dope. Yeah. It's, like I said, it's a whole different vibe. Out there, it's kind of like, you know, Orange County. You can't yeah. walk around. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. You walk around, people are like, look at this homeless ass fool. <laughs> but you walk around out here, everybody's yeah, on scooters, everybody's like walking, cool, riding yeah, bikes, sure. and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah the vibe is cool. Nobody, no, you know? Newport nah. Tattoo, they have such great people there. They're yeah. Oh, yeah. so friendly. They're very accommodating. Like, I can't go to anybody else. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, you just did. I know. I went to Canada. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, we were visiting Venice, and I was like, yeah. you know what? I haven't gone to tattoo yeah. in Venice yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah. No, 100%. Yeah. yeah, she didn't even know. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's what I'm saying. You gotta talk about how we even got here. Like, keep in mind, we don't. She's not even from Venice. Like, how did she even like pick? How did I even? Find yeah, like, how do we even get here? Like, explain um, that. Well, I mean, like, every time I come to Venice Beach, like, I've yeah. only been here like maybe four times in my life. I was always fond of all the tattoo shops around here. I got my belly button pierced like at Venice Beach when I was 16 years old. My mom was so cool and she was like, you want to get your belly button pierced today? I was like, yeah, sure. I don't remember what shop it was at, but I swear I could have. I think, I literally feel like it was this place, but it was called something else at one point. So wait, your mom was like, yo, we're getting belly button pierced. Like, yes. like, let's do this. Yes. I was only 16 years old, so I thought that was really cool of her. You could have traded parents. My, pa my parents were cool, but now they're like, why are you getting more tattoos? Don't get any more. I was like, nope, this is my life. Nah, 100%. It's very therapeutic, too. Yeah? Yeah, so. Do you feel, like, calmer? Like, can you even feel the pain? Nope. Not, like, no pain, no nothing? No, the, this part of the hand is actually not bad. I give it about a one, pain-wise. Mm. This one was, like, six. That one hurt a little bit? Yeah, because when you get to the neck, it is a little bit more tender. Yeah, so. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, so. Yeah, but, like, but this one does not hurt at all. You don't feel it? No, I mean, I feel it, but it's like I'm numb now. And I'm just like kind of like ignoring it at the same, at the same time. Um, yeah, so. And then my butterflies. Um, what can I say about this? Um, I just wanted to add more butterflies to my arm. I already have one next to my sister's um, V, which represents like her name as well. Mm -hmm. But I just saw these that one of my artists had, and I was like, I want to get those. So it's like pretty and it's feminine. It kind of goes with me. Hey, how's it going? No pain? No. Actually, it's kind of stinging. Right now. Wait, does it hurt like the higher you're going? Like, are you on a bone? No. I. I thought I was on a bone, but not really. But yeah, so, um, mm -hmm. my five flowers, um, 
I don't know, I saw somebody have like actually these, this design and I kind of liked it, so I was like, oh, I want that. Mm -hmm. But then there's also, um, there's five people in my family, my mom, my dad, sister, my brother-in-law, mm -hmm. or you can count my dog as that. <laughs> but um, there's also, a, a, I kind of like looked at it one day and I liked that it was like, one was small, one was kind of getting bigger, one was kind of getting smaller, one was big and one was small. So that kind of represents like growth in a way. Mm. So, you know, you do grow like a like gardens. Mm. There's actually a, a, um, a worship song called um, Springtime. And there's a line in the song that says like a far, like a like a garden I will grow, mm -hmm. and it was like really pretty. So mm -hmm. I can just say like that represents it, yeah. So, yeah. so each of them, mom, dad. Well, my mom and dad's uh, birth flowers are actually on me. My sisters, um, my sister, and my mom have the same birth month, so that kind of represents both of them. But it's like kind of like hidden at the moment. But yeah. Okay. What else? Um. You know you have like tons. Um, you want to go on my ankle? I'm so sorry for the scar that's right there. That's my grandma's signature with a rose because she loved roses. So she died in 2018 and I wanted to get her signature on it. Yeah, and then um, there's a sunrise, sunset on the back of my ankle to commemorate my solo trip from San Francisco. You stretch it out long? That's pretty dope. And there's some hidden ones on me. There's um, some other stuff, like this stuff on my back, and then there's one on my rib, mm -hmm. side back. Um, there's my mom and dad's writing right there. Yeah. And then I got the word no fear. And actually, the F is a cross, but my bracelet's in the way. Hold on. Yeah, if you could tell that F is a cross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm not to see. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's so far. Those are my yeah. tattoos. But like I said, stay tuned for a whole tour coming like towards the end of the year when everything is pretty much mm -hmm. done. Yeah. This is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah. So tell me this. You said the therapy part. Like, how is getting tattoos therapy for you? Um. That's a good question. I like think on just the, because like on the mental health scale, like, what does that do for you? Well, actually, there's a saying that that tattoos do help with mental health. I think it's because like, now nah, I could be wrong about this, but I feel like when you love something so much or you want like something like pretty or something that boosts your confidence, I think getting tattooed really helps in a way because I feel like I've gotten more confident with myself since getting tattoos. And it's not that like, I never like hated like having like bare skin or anything like that. I just have always fell in love with art. And art is therapeutic for so many people. So for me, like getting tattoos is therapeutic. And me as an artist, like it just, it, it just kind of like brings a little bit more of like a, like more of like a confidence booster to me. Mm -hmm. And I, and I also think like too, I hate to say this, but the needle, sometimes touching your skin can be like, can feel good sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it just depends on where you get it, like on yourself, like. The arms are actually no problem for me, but if it was like my rib or like somewhere else very sensitive wise, mm -hmm. then that would be a different story. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question. You should ask like another artist that, like, can they be therapeutic? Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yes. <laughs> yeah. For sure. So, yeah. I'm almost done with this. So, what made you want to start getting tattoos? Um. Well, maybe we want to get tattoos. I don't know. I just always like them. I've always like you know fell in love with it. I never wanted a sleeve, but look where I'm at now. <laughs> when he comes back, you should ask him what makes tattooing so therapeutic. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I actually started off with one, and then I, after that was the most painful thing ever because I got it when I was 18, mm -hmm. and I said I'm never getting a tattoo again. But look where I'm at, like almost 10 years later. And, or 11 mm -hmm. years later, and I have like, I spent like over like a grand on all these, mm -hmm. but I don't regret it at all. Here, let me ask you then, right here, since you're tattooing her, how did you, um, how did you get into tattooing? He said he's from Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait, so wait, yeah, yeah. Hang, hang, hang. You can say it in Spanish, English. English. she has Spanish viewers. Yo se año tatuando, así que estaba en Cuba, y... 
y ahora estoy aquí tratando de mejorar cada día como artista uh -huh. y tratando de eventualmente hacer mis propios diseños y ponerlos en los pies de mis clientes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, Kelly, what made you want to get tattoos? I remember we've been on that journey for a while. Yeah. Honestly, just because I look cooler. Just <laughs> because oh look cooler? <laughs> like, hey, you know what? It's fine. Yeah. If you want to, if tattoos make you cooler, fine. If tattoos make you confident, great. If tattoos represent something special on you, great too. Yeah. Like, that's just our generation these mm -hmm. days. Yeah, it's just like a vibe. Everyone has a tattoo nowadays. It's just like it's normal. Right. Yeah, but I'm a writer. Like, I have to put a few words on me. It wouldn't make any sense if I didn't. Yeah, and I'm a photographer, so art mm -hmm. is in my blood. I grew up, like, painting and drawing, and then I fell in love with photography at a, when I was in college, and, you know, I still, like, you know, love it till this day. I mean, I don't have a camera tattoo or anything like that, but, you know, I, people can tell, like, right away that I'm an artist or whatever when they see my tattoo. So it's mm -hmm. like, oh, then they ask me, what do I do? I said, oh, I do photography. So, yeah, it's just... Just, yeah. I want tattoos. I want the tattoos on my body to be like all good vibes, like yeah, good memories. That, right? yeah. A lot of them are really great memories I've had. And um, you know, when people see them, mm -hmm. they say like, "Oh, like they're so welcoming and they're so like peaceful looking." Mm -hmm. And so that's a good thing. That's what I, I wanted to represent. I see it fits. Like you know, I believe when you get a tattoo, as long as it means something for you, like it's it's actually really a good thing. Yeah, for sure. Some people have like crazy like ones where I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, what's the story behind that? It has a story. Yeah, everything has a story. Everything is just, mm -hmm. and that's the best thing about like art. Art will always tell stories. Not on a hundred percent. Yeah, but yeah. I think yeah, you have so many stories on you. I'm pretty sure like you get asked all the time like, what is this? And... Yeah, I do actually. I think a lot of people really love my jellyfish tattoo, or um, yeah. what else do they like? It's on my arm. Oh, the be still one, the mm -hmm. one with the wave. Mm -hmm. They really love that one, which I'm like surprised because people don't really know what the meaning behind be still is. Mm -hmm. And in the Bible, it means like to wait patiently on God. Mm -hmm. And the wave under it is like, um, you know, you're gonna go through, mm -hmm. you know, thunderstorms and tsunamis and big waves, but you know, be patient because you'll make it through. Yeah, and it's not that like I've been through like a lot of my life, but you know we have our ups and downs, and sometimes we don't realize that we've been through a lot until it hits us, and that's what the pandemic kind of taught me, and that's why like for me I went to therapy myself, and I've been in the best place since then. Yeah. Okay. Well, you said it. You owe your subscribers. Yeah, she's been slacking, you guys. She needs to be posting more. Yeah, but you Busy owe them. Life. Yeah, now you owe them a tattoo vlog. So you need to like hurry up and get on that. Too. I will. Yeah, that's part yeah. of my my everyday life. Getting tattoos. Mm -hmm. I get a tattoo almost like every month, but you know, I, I wouldn't have not changed it any other way. Yeah. So we're expecting that like pronto. Yes. Yes. Exactly. And but it's just. I got other things that are bigger <laughs> that I have to wait for. You want like eight more? We we can stay here all day. Like we, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We just stay here all day. I mean, it's cool. Don't charge me though. <laughs> but we gotta stay. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That is badass. Be close. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. Huh? It's so pretty. Turn it, turn it. Around. Yeah. Right yes. There. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, so Thank you so much. You're welcome. Muchas gracias. <laughs> 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 Wait. Mm, let me tell you want to tell me your name? Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Uh, so I have a question for you. Actually, yeah. she asked me this question while I was getting tattooed. Yeah. Why is tattooing therapeutic for so many people? I mean, no pressure. I mean, most of the time, people, when they get a tattoo, they're just going through something. You know what I mean? A breakup. Mm -hmm getting with someone, mm -hmm. they're here with their homie, they're here on vacation, you know, something like that. It just kind of gives them something yeah. to think about later on down the line, you know what I mean? Like, like I say, when we do people's tattoos, yeah, we're doing a tattoo, but we're, li we're living on their trilogy, you know what I mean? They're, whatever they're living on, we're, our, our shit's on them, you know what I mean? So right. when they die, we're on them, and you know what I mean? They're gonna, at the end of the day, they gotta remember us for the rest of their life, you know what I mean? 
So when I do, I try to keep it cool, you know, make everybody have a good time. But uh, if they ain't laughing, you ain't having a good time. <laughs> that's really good. What's the best thing about being a tattoo artist? I mean, it has its ups and downs, you know what I mean? Obviously, you're chilling, you get to do your own shit, you know what I mean? But there is time where it's like, you got 10 people waiting, and you got no time to chill and do you, you know what I mean? You gotta just do them. So, For sure. But, I mean, like I said, it's like anything, you know? You have, it's just ups and downs. You have a, a shitty job and be unhappy, but then it has some cool things about it, you know what I mean? For like, sure. Have this job, but it's not that shitty, but. There's shitty things that happen during it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like anything. For sure, yeah. yeah. Got some good answers like that. That's yeah, exactly it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, she'll tag you, that's what I'm saying. Like, she's pretty oh, yeah. big, so she'll yeah. like, yeah, she'll Buzz get you on it. Buzz Bomb Tattoo in Venice yeah. Beach, California. Yeah, yeah. Where are you yeah, from? Yeah. Oh, you're from Orange County, right? Yeah, Chino. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I get tattoos in Orange County, but I'm from Chino. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same thing, that's what I'm saying. It's been in here, yeah. Yeah, we came out here for the day and we're like, Hell yeah. I just play for a month, so. Hell yeah. yeah. Next time she needs to get a test. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Making me look bad, I'm like, uh, man. Right, yeah. yeah. Your place is great. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really liked it, so. Other places we were just not feeling the vibe, but we definitely felt the vibe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta feel happy where you're getting it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For me, it's all about vibes. You know, if I, if I go somewhere and I'm like. Uh-huh. I can go somewhere and people are fucking around with you and feel, feel cool, you know what I mean? Might as well stay here, you know? Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks, Ryan, for being awesome. Oh, yeah. Hope to see you again soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I need a P. I can't get no bitch, no wedding ring. Oh, I put my bitch right in Venom, but we about to go shoot them. Okay, so tattoos are finally done. We had a great time. Buzz Bomb Tattoo is another great place to go. If anybody's looking to get tattooed in Venice Beach, sweetest people ever. And speaking of sweet, we got our sweets. Ice cream and churros. For two ninety nine. I think my ice cream was six dollars. Yeah, mine was six dollars. That's so expensive. It is. She paid six dollars for that. I mean, if it's good ice cream, so I can't really complain about that. So. Paying for the view. Yeah. Not and to meet people Anybody and to have connections. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. so we are, our day is currently coming to an end. We're just going to walk around, uh, then we'll see a little bit more, and then hop oh, back to our home place. So, please like and subscribe. Also, follow me. Follow, follow, please. And, yes, follow me. Follow Ryrie. Yeah, follow me. Yes. Follow me. I'm tagging her in my video, so please, once again, enjoy our videos, and we'll see y'all next time.